Hello everyone, my name is Zoe Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Team Shady Ghost, how to up a fully modded 5M server in literally just a couple of minutes. This comes with over 110 vehicles, a bunch of mods, and it literally takes about the same amount of time as setting up a base 5M server would do. So come to the HDNetwork.1 website just down in the description below. It's going to bring you to this page. We're going to do the vMenu package today. I will do a video later on on the Cubicle package. So hit View Packages. And we're going to be doing the vMenu Platinum Pro package, which is the best of the best for vMenu. And from here, what you guys are going to want to do is add to cart, check out, and then instantly it will give you a download link for the vMenu Platinum Pro package. This is a one-time payment of £32, which I think is $42. And you do not have to pay again. It's a one-time payment and it is super easy to set up. Once you guys have got that and downloaded it, it's only about a gigabyte in size, so it really shouldn't take too long since all the files are stored on the cloud and taken from the original mod pages. So from here, all you guys need to do is open the package on up in zip and then right click on your desktop, new folder, and you can call this wherever you guys want. I'm just going to do HDN V menu and there you guys go. Now open this folder on up again, right click new folder. And we're going to call this one server files. We're going to go inside of this server files folder. And you guys are going to see this link right here, 5M download URL. Double click that in the package, it's going to take you straight to the 5M downloads. From here, we're just going to click the top download. It's going to download as a zip form again. Open it on up. Very, very simply. Control A, drag and drop. Give it a couple of seconds to copy across. And just like that, we are done. We can close that download, scroll on down until we find the FX server.exe and just double click that to start it on up and run it. It's going to open up your standard 5M console, allow it and then click link account on TX admin. Click continue or sign in with your CFX.re account. And once you guys have done that, it's going to ask you to create a backup password. So just do something that you guys will remember since I know a lot of people sometimes get locked out of their accounts because they simply could not remember the password that they set or maybe they forgot the password to their cfx.re account so make sure you guys do remember this agree to the rules and then register from here we're going to select next we're going to name our server again just do whatever you want it doesn't have to match the name you put earlier earlier it can be anything and then just hit next again and then popular recipes and cfx default 5m then we're not going to mess with any of this we're just going to hit save and go to recipe deployer from here we shall hit next and we're going to grab ourselves a server key just like normal we're going to click this hyperlink right here for keymaster sign in to keymaster website with our cfx.re account and then make yourself a key i'm just going to get rid of this one right here for the sake of the video and you guys just want to click new server right here on the left from here we're going to select a display name so just do whatever you guys want again doesn't have to match and then for your initial server IP address, to get that, all you guys are going to want to do is hop on to Google. Google, what is my IPv4 address? You're going to see this website right here. Just go onto it like this and copy the IPv4 address it gives you. Go back to Keymaster and paste it in just like that. Then for server type, we're going to select other and home hosted. Which server provider are you using? We'll just put home. I'm not a robot and generate yourself a key then click copy go back to the tx admin page and paste in your license key but if you guys did get a little error when running this it's because your wi-fi likely has a dynamic ip which means your ip keeps changing now it doesn't matter for after the initial setup but the initial setup needs to be on the same key so if you do have that then just go into your wi-fi settings and quickly disable it and then you shouldn't have any issues but just hit run recipe and it's going to run and install all of the base 5M files like normal. You can click and close the file explorer there, just automatically opened up. And then we can just hit next, save and run server. And just like that, we have a base 5M server set up with absolutely no mods. And now for the HD network package with the auto installer. So we're going to close the server on down, stop the server, minimize back to our desktop, and we're going to close our server down as well. Then from here, we're going to go back and open up that folder we made on our desktop with our 5M server in it. And you guys should see we have now a start default.bat. Now to actually install the package and all of its mods, we're going to be using the HD Network Auto Installer. So head over to the zip, double click the HD Network Platinum Pro EXE right here. Give it a couple of seconds to load. 
and it's just going to ask you to allow admin permissions. Here you go. Just hit yes, then hit next on the wizard. Create desktop icon. Make sure that is ticked. Hit next again and give it a couple of seconds and it will automatically install into your computer. From here, we can just hit finish. And you guys should now see the little shortcut on your desktop called HD Network Platinum Pro. From here, all you guys need to do, double click that to start it on up. Hit yes again. And then we're going to select our 5M server folder. So as you guys know, that is going to be the folder we just made on a desktop. Mine is called HDN V menu. So just click that and then come over to here and select folder. From here, it's going to bring up the actual HD network application. Really neat little application which has all of the mods inside of here. If you take a look inside of one of these buttons here, all you guys need to do is click the button and it will automatically install the mod for you. But first of all, we're just going to do really quickly the HD network framework setup. So to do that, so very simply, we're going to grab this HD network install package folder from the zip, drag and drop it onto our desktop like so. And once that's copied onto your desktop, we're going to select this button right here, base setup. We're going to go back to our desktop and here it is, the HD network install package. We're going to select that folder and then hit select folder in the bottom right, right here. And there you guys go. It's going to start automatically copying and making all the framework that you need for your 5M server. And in a couple of seconds, it shall be done. Just hit return and it'll bring you straight back to the HD network auto installer. And now we're back in here. We can pick and choose what mods we actually want to auto install into our 5M server. Say, so for example, we want some interface scripts and we want the minimap mod. We'll just click this button right here, give it a couple of seconds. And just like that, it will automatically install the mod into the server for you. And it's the same for all the buttons here. We have some car scripts as well. Just click the button. We also have menu scripts, map mods, we've got voice mods, we've got police cars, tons and tons of police cars. These are all packed as well. So there's more than one in each button click. We've got Civ vehicles. And if you guys wanted to install all of these, maybe you want every single mod and you cannot be bothered to go through clicking them all one by one, do not worry. Just head into this bonus mod section right here. And you guys are going to see this button, install all. Just click that and it'll install every single mod in the auto installer for you automatically. But if you guys don't want to do that and you do want to select your mods one by one, it's a great way of making sure all of your servers do remain unique. And maybe you guys do not want some scripts. You don't have to do it. You can literally just pick and choose, which is a really, really good part of the auto installer. Every single mod is one click auto install. And once you guys have installed the mods that you want, we're good to close the HD network application on down like so. Open up our server folder. Here it is, HTNV menu, whatever you guys called it. Open it on up. And that start default dot bat that we talked about Earlier on, that is how we start our 5M server. So we simply just double click that, give it a couple of seconds, and it should boot up our 5M server. Just like that, if we load into our 5M and our server is running, you guys should be able to see there's a connect to the name of your PC on LAN just underneath the play button. You can just click that to connect or press F8 and type connect local host. And that will also automatically start connecting you to your 5M server. Give it a couple of seconds, you'll start loading in, greeted with your custom loading screen, which you can customize. Give it a couple more seconds and we should load in game. You guys go, once we are in game, you should be able to see we've got a bunch of new little icons on our map. I've toggled my mini map off purely because of the RP aspect. Aspect is just something I usually have off. We hit pause. We can see we have a really nice satellite map here with a bunch of icons on the map. Something that usually doesn't come with your 5M server. There are tons and tons of things in this server. And if you guys have got the HD network package and you join the Discord server, you should be able to see a nice little keybind channel which shows you absolutely everything and if you guys do have some more questions you can simply reach out to the HD network support team that is provided for free with your package live chat or email they'll always be there waiting for you we've got a interaction menu with v menu we've got another interaction menu for your edio your save your fire emotes we got emote menu we got literally everything you could ever want guys like this is a super easy way of setting up a vibrant server it takes half the amount of time with the auto installer, you get given updates if you have the server care subscription, which is literally three bucks a month. It's super, super worth it and it is a no brainer. So trust me, guys, check that out down in the description below. It is worth your time and money. It's a one time payment, super cheap compared to everything else. And they do not come with auto installers or videos. So, you know, it's a win win situation right here. So check that out down in the description below www.hcnetwork.one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.